The Central Club. Do you ever get sweet tooth or just fancy a treat? Or maybe you're just on the munchies. <laughs> I know I do. Go and check the local boss man bringing you global flavours at Boss Man Sweets and Treats. A Kylie and Road Newport MP19. Also available online and coming to a store in Cardiff very, very soon. Do you need a work uniform? Want to start a clothing brand? Or maybe you have a football kit that needs a logo printed? Well, if I was you, I'd get in touch with the Reinspire Printing Company down to Forest Industrial Estate for the finest printing and embroidery in Wales. I use them for my custom-made mankini. But you could use them for t-shirts, hats, hoodies, and many, many other things. What's going on, people? Welcome to the Central Club. This episode is brought to you by Reinspire Clothing and Boss Man Suites. Today we got a great episode. I'm very thankful to have this man down. Local Welsh legend, literally in the name. It's local. Mm. Welcome on. Yes, lads. Yes, lads. Yes, What's going on? Boss yeah. Man Suites. Yeah. Mm. That's a big name, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, can you imagine when he was trying to like... Um, like, uh, what's it? Register Think of the, the name. name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Boss Man Suites. Boss, what, Boss is Man. he actually registered that name? Well, I'm pretty sure. Sure. Big like. up oh. Boss Man Suites anyway. Yeah. 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 They're opening yeah. another shop now in um, Cardiff, so it'll be sick. They're in Newport. Cool. No. Yeah, Newport based. So, yeah. And the plants as well. Uh, this yeah. setup's this setup's looking crazy, boys. I can't wait to uh, say do a bit of a- ASMR on the mic with the, this mm. this fruit, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out exotic fruits as well for dropping us some fruit down. Yeah. The heat's... Uh, it's peak right now, this uh, weather, but we can't complain because when it rains, we moan. So, mm, how's things been, bro? All good, bruv. All good. We're looking we're looking to open back up again soon, isn't it? So, work can finally start going again. I'm not flipping sat in my bedroom trying to think of things to do. Yeah, mm. I know, I know. Well, for people who don't know who um, local is, he's just a grime MC, <clears throat> sorry, a local Welsh legend, like I said. Uh, been in the music scene in Wales and the UK for over 10 years now, was yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Um, I've known of you from day one of listening to grime music and anyone I speak to, you are like rated in their top three. So I would like to go in a bit about, you know, the music scene and yeah. where you are right now. But if yeah. we could just start like from the beginning. So who is local before the MC? Um, basically, um, I grew up in Cardiff, grew up in Splot for about five years with uh, my mum, dad, uh, two brothers, sister, and we come to Rummy. Um, everyone slowly started moving out. Ended up just me and my mum then for a few years. Um, went to Rumley High and then went to St. Ords. Um, and then it was just youth, growing up with youth club was my thing, innit? Just youth club was, yeah. was my was my big yeah. thing. Like. Yeah, you, but that's, youth club was mine as well. Like, yeah. where are they now? They, it's they, sad. It's sad to see fear what a youth club clothes. And you see, when I drive past now, I see all these kids outside the shop. Back in the yeah. day, we'd be in youth feed, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. with a role model. And, yeah. and 100%. Or an ex gangster who's turned his yeah. life on. You look up to him, but you, you, you had that kind of like, oh, I'd like to be him. Mm. He was once that guy, but he's legit now. And Definitely. There's none of that around no more. It's they sad. Were, they were the type of people you could just talk to, innit? Yeah. The type of people who could catch you doing stuff you weren't supposed to be doing and, and they could tell you properly instead of, instead yeah. of yeah. like shouting at you. Naughty you know I mean? boy. Yeah. It's not the end of the world, but this is what you should do in place to change it, you know? And yeah. More relatable or not? Hundred percent, hundred percent. My my the, the youth worker we had was Patrick Zaid. Patrick Osborne and Zaid as well. Do you remember Zaid? Zaid's a legend yeah. as well. Yeah, he um he was obviously from Docks, weren't he? Mm. So um, he had to move, didn't he? Yeah, well, well, to to a youth club in Docks. So that's what I remember. Anyway. Yeah, so Yuffie was the one on it. Mine's knocked down now. I went St Melons, and they had um they had like two three million off the lottery when I was like fifteen sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pool tables like, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> when I was like 15, 16, and um, um they used to we used to just say, Oh, can we go to can we go quadding on a Tuesday? Can we go cinema on a Friday? Can we go there? Then they just say, Yeah, find two youth workers and, and we'll go. And then nice. just, and do you know what? Yeah, they and keep I was gone. you off the road as well, then yeah. yeah. And that's where that's where music started as well. They bought us a set of decks. They took uh Nezzy went to um catapult in town. Catapult's gone now, isn't it? Um, yeah, that's another that's another thing. Catapult. That's, yeah, man. that's another podcast, I used to go bro. there to pick up my Sidewinder packs in the lucky yeah. bag. Oh, yeah. And, oh, yeah. Even, like, yeah. <laughs> you got like a hat or a scarf. Like, they, they must have had about a hundred of them Sidewinder packs. The blue one. Yeah, yeah. Everyone had it. Yeah. Everyone, like. Yeah, like, like, like the cameo. I think it was like Cameo's birthday or cameo's something like birthday that. Cameo's birthday, I must yeah. be too young. I don't know what yeah. you're you on about. You don't know about this no, stuff, man. I don't this think is... I do. Sidewinder was a rave, yeah? Yeah. It was a, like the original grime rave where like Wiley, Dizzy Rascal, Kano and all that. Oh, and yeah. They'd be like, everyone had a crew. 
So everyone would have an hour each in it, and then they'd bring out either CDs or tapes. So say you went to town to watch like to watch your, your favorite MCs. Yeah. You could buy it then. You could buy that night on CD. On the CD, yeah. yeah. yeah you get me? CDs right. were much more of a thing back then. Yeah, but they? it was tapes before tapes that. Tapes before. Yeah. How yeah. 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 jungle tapes. tapes. Yeah, wasn't it? Mm. 12 tapes. They come, you know, like a sticker, like a mailing sticker box. They'd come in, you'd what? open, you'd have about 12 tapes in there then, wouldn't you? That's nuts. Yeah, it's amazing, bro. For the people watching at home, um, sort of give people an insight into like what music was like then because obviously like the hip-hop culture and stuff was coming into the uk and people were starting to spit bad yeah and it was so. um it was everything was american yeah. everything was well unless you the old, people who were a bit older than me it was drum and bass which was like which was more rave yeah, jungle more, more like british culture but from where we weren't old enough to know about that i didn't have his big brother listening to it it was um it was just eminem and tupac and whatever but then then Sidewinder is what, what I was on about then, is what got everyone doing sets and like doing grime sets, garage sets. Like someone would have, a, someone would buy a set of decks and then we'd all go around their house, like five, six of us in the bedroom, just passing the mic around, record it. And then we'd all have a copy in it. And that's yeah, what it's yeah. about, having a, new, having a new bar every week. Yeah. That's yeah, what who's got the best punchlines? Yeah. And... Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. You improve then, don't you? Because yeah. you're literally just... It's competition. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to... The yeah. thing is as well, it's mad because like nowadays you can record the track quickly like that and then just delete it or send it. Whereas then you wouldn't want to waste CDs maybe. No, so you no. come and make sure you've got something set. Yeah. 100%. And you say we do the set, it'd be an hour. And if it was if it was going onto tape, it'd go straight onto tape. But if it was going onto CD, we'd have to have a CD record and then you'd have to do this finalised thing at the end. And it was always 50-50 whether, it, whether it was going to finalise oh. or not. <laughs> you know what I mean? oh. Mad. And the disc would come out, and we'd all be sat around waiting, thinking, "Is this gonna work? No, is this gonna work?" Put it in. Most of the time, when we're like, "Fuck!" That's 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 the beauty of the the pirate, mm. the raid. Yeah. You know, damn days and artists. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. 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 CDs. Were you selling mm. the CDs as well? Yeah, we yeah yeah we sell yeah. the CDs. We'd yeah. always. I always used to see Mike GLC in town. Remember Mike GLC, the <laughs> rapper from London? Like the London boys used to come. Like instead of like shot in OT, they come with their CD disc. I was like JD, and I, I'd be like, "Yo, I bought a CD off this guy. Like he's probably." crap like but I just saw because he was from London and, and I bought this thing off him he's a G like do you know if, what I mean if you buy one CD though you have to their boy, <laughs> their boy sees you with the next yeah, CD yeah, yeah. It down and like ah. yeah yeah they, by, the, by the time you get the end of time you've done 30 quid yeah, I've got no money left <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. mad that isn't it how yeah, it used to be the call yeah like nowadays just send it here send it there but like back then you had to really hustle yeah, you know what I mean yeah. you had to like I, was, I reckon it'd be more fun yeah it well, was yeah it's more yeah. it's more of a, it's, yeah it's more of a business more meeting people isn't it yeah. like now you need you need um, a million streams on Spotify for four grand, yeah? That's 40, that's, no, that's that's 400 CDs for a tenner. So 400 compared to a million. Mm. That's to mad. For you the think same of it money. like that. That is mad. That well, is mad, bro. Do you think there's people out there who still do that? Yeah, I yeah. think that would probably um, be a good way of going it? about it now. Um, hard drive discs, in it, like yeah, yeah, the USBs, Fobs, yeah, yeah, USBs, yeah. USBs, the new CD. Yeah, traumatic read, does them. He does yeah. like all his, all everything he's ever done on one thing for like a one or something like that. Well, yeah, well he's doing, well he's yeah, doing, doing well, isn't he? Yeah. Somewhere, yeah. But if I, sorry, if I bring a project out though, I'll do a hundred CDs at first because I know I got at least a hundred loyal fans in, within two, three days. Are going to take, yeah, 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 and it's the grand luck. But then for that grand, you're waiting. Six months maybe on Spotify. I think I think it's a thing as well with our generation. I don't know about the younger generation, but I would just want to have a CD. I yeah. just want to see a CD. Yeah. Like, okay. Me on the front page, pair an advisory in the, the corner. I want that like... Yeah, physical. I've yeah. been sending physical in your hand to put 100%. in your bedroom. Like, yeah. yeah, 100%. It's sentimental then, isn't it? Yeah. Bro? Let's talk about CDs then. So what was your first ever CD you ever brought? Um... Alpha Dodger album, all about the stragglers, or oh, the the monkeys. Yeah, they're the first two CDs. I mean, you know, hey, we're the monkeys. <laughs> that that album and Alpha Dodger's album. But I remember getting um, on tape. I remember having Wu Tang Gravel Pit Ooh. and um, Dane Bowers and Victoria Beckham. You're out of your mind, <laughs> banger. Are B you bugging? Yeah, no, no, bugging. No, no, no it's not the same guy. No, though, yeah, that was Dane Bowers, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Another level or something like that. He was yeah, from. another level. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. They're the first. They're the first like uh, CDs and tapes I remember having. I think the Monkeys was the first one I asked for. To be honest, I don't know why. When did you start? Like when you started spitting that? When was the, like the first time you thought, "Yo, do you know what? I'm actually quite like getting a yeah. decent at this." Do you know what, bruv? I think the first time because yeah, they, I wasn't. I, <laughs> uh, I, I, I that's didn't good, really man. That's good. rap. Well, there was people MCing in the youth club, and I was watching for a few weeks, and then when I got it. There was a different reaction to anyone else 
that I seen in there. Mm. So I thought, oh, all right, happy day. And it was the oldest as well. Do you know what I mean? So I yeah. thought, yeah. All right. must be honest, so then. when you say oldest in Cardiff, because th- you know, there's not many before you. No, it would have uh, been like like uh, like Nezzy, Clifford, um, who's um, Patwan, um, yeah, yeah, KV, yeah, yeah. like. Like just boys from the estate who, who were the best bitters Shout on the out estate. Clifford estate. as well. Like yeah. free, free up Clifford. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's, I never know where Clifford yeah, is. Yeah, he's, he's a G, man, isn't he? Yeah, he got. He's done a bit of stuff with Stagger, didn't he? Before yeah, Stagger, yeah, Stagger, 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 man. Stagger, man. Yeah, Stagger was Stagger was a top guy. Once I found, um, I didn't know Stagger. Once I found him, like two, three years ago. That's how long you've... That's, I've only known what? him. Yeah, Bro, I, I, I knew Stagger from Embassy. Remember Embassy in Cateese? The, the, no, no, but he, he was a youth worker, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he done, he done one, of my, one of my first songs I ever recorded. Like, But yeah, bro, he's a G, bro. Yeah. He's a, quite a sound guy. He's just, it was just mad to see that happened. He moment. was just chilled, bro. But for someone like yourself, is what I'm saying, who's been in the music scene from them, from early on, to only meet him two, three I know, years ago I know, mad. I know, yeah. I know. I'd always know. He'd always known me. I'd always known him just through names. I don't ever seen pictures of him on Facebook, and I used to think this guy looks mad because he always just do this mad thing with his eyes, <laughs> like that in the photos. And then when I went there and I could smoke in the studio, because the last studios you go don't to, you smoke. can't like yeah. it's, you know it's, mm. it's rules like in it, you can't smoke because it was private and whatever. I just felt at home in it. That's the only like, and then once I got in there once, that was the only place I recorded. And then when lockdown happened, um, he was having complaints and things like that. So his work had to slow down. So that's when I. Got my, got my own stuff then. What was the first tune that you recorded and like properly? And when did you start recording? And like, did you always take your CUC from the like? After? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to go grassroots once we knew about studio. It was grassroots in town. You know about grassroots. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Three, three pound an hour. Say ten of us could go there. Same way we could all smoke on the back yeah, door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, and in tech was like that. Is as that well. still about yeah. now? That grassroots. I think it is. It is. It's, yeah, and I think they have got a studio there. I think it's that guy in it. Yeah, is it Mike the, Magi- Mike. Mike the magician? Isn't it? Yeah, or something I'll be like soft. That. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try something. What yeah. is this? Does anyone know? Because I. It's a dragon it's, fruit. That is. Is this drag? Yeah. This is, is a passion it? fruit. Oh no, what passion is the fruit. Yeah. I'm gonna try. That's a dragon fruit, fruit actually. That yeah, let me have one of them ones, Tom, because they look banging the pink ones. What is it, real? What's it taste like? No, they're all right. You, got to, you, get used to, you get used to them. You get used to passion fruit. Yeah, man. Do you know what? Half of them fruits I've never even heard of. Never even heard of. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. What what, what was it? That that thing there. You can actually eat that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, bro. I thought it was decoration, me. <laughs> I want to hear yeah, I want to hear like the best AM SMR ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god Bum. can you hear my crunch or no <laughs> well, I don't you've got, got listen listen I haven't got a bin so you're eating the skin as well no, I'm joking <laughs> these ain't cheap these, these, these sweets are they no 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 no. Sweets, Yo, this is what I'm saying like, respect, he, respect where can respect. people get them if they want them in Cardiff exotic Cardiff he just dropped them down for us, bro. Just well, massive respect, mad love. Yeah, and there's not many of them doing it out here. So did you do the presentation as well? Did you cut that? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. Did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good though. Man. Yeah, that's good stuff. Alice. I don't know whether so, I like it or not. Listen, right. So back to like an um, obviously um, urban circle that like. Urban Circle. That was an early day process yeah. as well. Then was Urban it? Circle was a. Can youth you tell club. people what that is. Urban Circle was a youth club, but in Newport, yeah. which was music based. So they had a they had a radio station in there. They started in it. It was like an internet cafe started, and it, it just had a set of decks out the back, and it was like a community. Where's that in, 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 in Pill? Pill yeah, it's just on the high street. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah. It was wow. ghetto. It was Pill, Pill is ghetto. Yeah, it was the first time I was going there, like fifteen, going there thinking this place, <laughs> this place is mad. ASMR, whatever it is, the whole way through, lads, isn't it? Um. I was gonna say, yeah, we went and and we used, and then they moved up, then they moved to another building. I think it was the same thing, funding off a uh, good funding, you know what I mean? And then it just built up, built up to to it like it was like a dance thing, a music thing. But Urban Circle was sick. So who in them early days in Newport did you come across music? Because I, I I always found that Newport found the music scene before us, if that makes sense. Yeah, mm. I used to watch it, watch the, them boys up there when YouTube first started as well, like basically, and I used to think, fucking hell, they got a wicked scene up there. Yeah. It's proper, like, it's Smoky, proper, yeah. Smokey's TV was the yeah. first one, but it was probably some before that as well, was it? Or? Yeah, um, I don't know, to be honest, because they all used to, like, like Ferncrest, didn't they? He was Tiny Skits back then. He was getting like 300,000 views stood in the car park in, in front of, yeah, in front of the mad. mini. It was a lot of views back then as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that was like, lot. yo, these guys are smashing it, like. 
I that, think it was easier to find views then, though. I don't know why. I done shitty, like shitty videos then, which would get loads of, like at least ten k, like. Yeah, because everyone was watching them on repeat. Probably. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't know you could count that as a view, to be honest. Yeah. But <laughs> do you know what? Those days, though, like I remember them days myself, like, and I always wanted to be part of that scene. Like, boys, it's it's just mad. Like, obviously, you weren't around to see that, like, but every week I'd like try and like go like, on like Smokey's channel yeah. if they got a new upload and. It was yeah, it yeah. was nice, and the camera footage is just whack. Yeah, but that's All what makes it. Yeah, yeah. When did um? So obviously at the time, yeah, you were probably going into a like you know you were starting off, starting to take it a bit more serious and that. When did you sort of like start? You know, because you've met some crazy people, bro. When did you start like introducing yourself into that world and and really like making uh, something of it? Um, well, you had Richie Vibe V was from Cardiff, yeah. And he was one of the first DJs on One Extra. And uh, every week he had a show called The Blueprint every Wednesday. And it was the only uh, garage show on One Extra. The only thing that played UK music really on there. And um, we we had a crew, Foundation Crew, which was me, DJ Crudo, uh, MD, Osboy. Dearsley. Yeah. <laughs> Wanna. And Tom K. Trouble. Um, and I, I, when One Extra first started, they put this thing on called Grime Watch. On their website, you could apply for them to, for one extra to come and come and see you, like in it. So I was on there, applied. I don't know whether it was Richie got us through or whatever, but we got on there. One extra came to my mate's house in in Whitchurch, and we done a little thing there, and then um, that went online. And then after that, they wanted to do they wanted us to help them put on a night. So then we put on a night in Red Rooms in Cardiff. Remember Red Rooms? Yeah. Wow. That was the first place I first one of the first clubs in Cardiff I emceed. And who was it? It was Devil Man. He was called DE Development. Yeah, and then he was on the flyer, like DE yeah. Development. <laughs> and then he did his mixtape the next one and he re developed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, then, oh. Were those, the were the, those were the days, man. So, like, you know, in you know, growing up in that crew, then, like, was you, you said you applied for the Grime Watch. In that crew, who was the one doing the work rate behind the scenes and that? Was it all of you? Or was you, are you one of them guys who, like, specifically, like, you look out for certain events and. No, I was only 16 then, so okay. I weren't... It weren't I, really yeah. invested in no, you as much. No, it was um, Cluedo. Cluedo was um, a train driver, a crane driver, yeah? A train driver. Yeah, a crane driver. A train driver. Yeah, a crane driver. A train. But he was like the youngest one in Wales, yeah? And he was on he was on good money. And he was a dedicated DJ, so he'd drive to London and buy all the vinyl because he was all on vinyl on the decks. And so we'd, we'd have the best tunes, like, and that's why when we go Urban Circle and do sets... All the MCs like Asher, Tez, Kid, and all that, they used to come there because they knew we were playing the bad boy tunes. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, so yeah. in a way, back then it was Cluedo keeping it, keeping oh, it because it was his house that we used to go to to MC. What? His mum would be in the front room of the <laughs> Carnation Street, <laughs> and we'd be in the room next to him <laughs> <back there. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> talking the most violent lyrics ever yeah. in the room yeah. next door. Like. That's yeah. mad. That's, but like, again, that's the beauty of. Yeah, and she never once said shut up, like she never once ever yeah. come in and shut said, to yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's he up to? <laughs> What's he up to? That Cluedo these days. I only um, met him once, and I was on that talk of the town thing when I went to Clash Fate on my flop. Oh, uh, yeah, Fate, Fate'll beat me, man. Fate'll beat me on the Clash. Um, yeah, but you know what? If it was, you know, I've always said this, you know, if it was like um, Lord of the Mic style, like 16 for 16 on a on a beat, not, I ain't a bat, rap, like a battle rapper. Like, it was a cappella and I, weren't it? Yeah, yeah. Then, I ain't on all that shit, bruv. Like, you had a fast flow, innit? Yeah, yeah. If you come with flows and I, like, I would have, yeah. like, he weren't that good, was he? You would have killed him. I went in. I, I would have killed him. I didn't prepare <laughs> for that Clash before. before. Clay up before fatal, but at that time I was watching Don't Flop and all that, and in my head I thought I can beat I can they beat anyone at this. You wanted to be no Lunacy, yeah, or yeah, I wanted to be Lunacy. Oh, Lunacy was no the one's beating really me. Now. At, at the rap he was battle. sick though, Lunacy. Yeah. I used to watch him myself. But before him was um, I, the one I used to always like was O'Shea, innit? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. The little, yeah. The little he's a little, little scouser. scouser. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a little Darren. Worked in Morrison's, bro. I don't know when I seen him worked in Morrison's. It killed me. Yeah, I thought, fucking, hell, you're the best battle rapper in Britain, really. And, and you got that 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 facade that, that you know that image of yeah. him as being this. Like, they're just you know, normal guys. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, it's sad, really. It's, they should, you know, they should really carry you if you're good at something yeah. like that. It should really carry you, and you should be able to make money. It's like rugby years ago in the seventies. You still had to be fucking plumbers and plasterers. It was yeah. just a sport at the time. Yeah. Rugby people would play like GPR Williams and these great Welsh t players. We had a job on the, in the weekday. Uh, it needs to be appreciated more. Doesn't Mad, it? Ah, it needs to be appreciated. Imagine more. being a footballer in like the seventies or eighties, right, and being on your grand the week. I know it was good money then, but now being be, in your normal I'd be house envious. and watching footballers yeah. in the lower leagues making 
more than you did. Yeah, George top, Best. Like, yeah. yeah. Was, Can was, you imagine? <laughs> bro, was there a time where you were making music and doing a little job at the same yeah, time? Yeah, yeah. I'd done it up until like. I heard you're a good plasterer. Is this true? I do tape. Well, yeah, <laughs> tape and joining. I do, innit? Yeah, yeah. Like like, well, the guy who rapped this, they, uh, die. He said you'd done his mate's shop. I don't know what it was like. Barber shop, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it might have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Did, you go, did you go uni or just, just no? Uh, not, not uni, bro. Like a. No, no, college or nothing oh, like yeah, that. No, yeah. I didn't do an apprenticeship. Didn't um, go chambers, no. No, no. Yeah, yeah. I did, I did, I did for like a day all these things. And then you went impact yeah, on and the road. I, yeah, <laughs> and I fucked them all off. But when I got, when I was like 23, 24, my mate took me on, taught me, taught me how to do the job. Yeah. So I was doing it up until um, a few months after I made chat because I thought. I'm, well, I've got so to put recently, my all in really now. Then. So yeah. you, you are now a musician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. sick, bro. That's sick. Well, um, yeah, well, we'll get on to that anyway. Like, so at the time, go on. at the time of like when you were, you know, say, like, so for example, yeah, you were talking about like I was taking it more serious, I was making more music and stuff like that. What was the scene like at the time? Because obviously, we're talking about battle rapping now, and obviously, you know, you know, you were you were part of one of the, if not the biggest UK battle rap of all time, bro. So part of that series. Yeah, Lord so. of the Marks was another thing that that made me want to take it more serious. But it was, it was all, it was all London then. You know what I mean, it was like it was kind of out of our reach in a way. Like before, it was, it was impossible for us. Yeah. The same way, London for rap was impossible for them to do what it's doing now, like ten years ago. Surely, you know what I mean? Yeah, hundred percent. That's what it goes in with that accent thing as well. Like I was saying about the London, the London rappers earlier on. Like you hear some of them, like like um, what were they called? Were they D Block before Europe? D Block Europe. When they like Dipset, Dipset Europe, Europe or something. Dipset. And they had Europe. all American accents in our man. Yeah. And I'm well, just I heard like, of D Block Europe. I thought, oh, this is another Dipset. Yeah. Europe. Do you remember oh, yeah. that Dipset yeah. Europe? Yeah. I thought I was dreaming about that, like, but it was like years ago, like D Block Europe. There was remember Dipset, so Joel Santana, Cameron. They had their own because they they used to war as well, didn't they? D Block Dipset. That's how I got it okay. mixed up, innit? You so, wore each other. Yeah, yeah. So you had Jay the Kiss and had in, in D Block, and then you had Dipset, who was like Cameron, Joel Santana. And but this Dipset were the first ones before D Block. They done Dipset Europe, like, yeah. and they were British rappers. Some of them were like from France as well, but the, the British ones were like proper Yankee, Yankee accent. And this <laughs> is why I respect you as well, because that tr that trans that, that transcended to Cardiff or, or other, maybe Birmingham and that as well. These rapper uh, MCs from out of London trying to sound like they're from London. Do you see yeah, what I mean? Man. But you've never done that. You've always stuck to that. And and I, I've always wanted to know why, like, it, was it just like you were just talking through the mic or? Yeah, I think, I think I when I first started, I was putting the twang on a bit, you get me? Because that was just how we, all I'd ever heard was, mm. was Londoners to yeah. talking like that. But I think, I think um, where people, where, my lyrics became more about me and people start that's why I was getting noticed because I wasn't saying the same stuff as everyone else. I think I think it just it just yeah. it was just made like obviously makes sense, you know what I mean? Did did you did did you answer that question yourself or did someone say you just want to be you, man? Like cause, because there's people all Most walk, people all ages off. love like love listening to you. Like I was speaking to Skippy the other day, like he's just he ain't into grime music at all, but he loves you. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? Because yeah. the lyrics you're saying uh, every day you know, Every day, what yeah. people talk about. Like, Relatable. Yeah. Yeah. British culture. Welsh, like just Welsh, Welsh culture. Welsh yeah. Cardiff, bro. Do you know what I mean? And you represent the Cardiff accent, the Cardiff flow. Do you know what I mean? I'll mm. think of things. I'll think before, like, obviously you write your lyrics as you're writing them, but I'll think of something that I want to put in there anyway. You know what I mean? I'll think of something which... It's which like, is going to stand It's not like comedy, isn't it? Written, you know, when yeah. you're on the it's, stage, you yeah. hear people, they talk about everyday scenarios. Yeah. We were saying it about Biggie the other day when he was walking up here and he was he was like, oh, that could be a TikTok video. Like, like you think, of th you've got to, haven't you? Yeah. Something you might laugh about. You say, do you know what? That'd be good in the lyric, actually, because I know people can relate to relate that. Relate to it. And that's all music is, really. Yeah, really and yeah. I think you, you true do that really well. Yeah. Punchlines, mm. um, metaphors. These are the things, you know, you want to put in there, really. Well, Biggie was Biggie was saying that's a TikTok. That's a TikTok. Bro, 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 bro. <laughs> bro, he, bro he, he was, was so... stuck in that right. So yeah, so you was on about it the other day, weren't you? Uh, yeah. And no one knew what he was on about. So there's a ladder on the roof. Yeah. yeah? And um Luca's gone out, like, and he's like fucking stuck on the fucking Basically, they were making fucking... a TikTok, yeah. <laughs> and he was stuck in the ladder. You know, like the ladders go to the roof. 
He's like nah. a round circle round, isn't it? Oh, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. a protector. Yeah. He he's was, stuck he in was a, Well, he was acting like to be stuck in here, but he was acting so good. I thought he was stuck in there. Like, oh, he weren't stuck no, in here. No, he weren't stuck oh, in here. They, they, they were making a TikTok like, you get know I me? Mean? But I'm there thinking, oh, is he stuck? Like, he goes out of his old man and does a video. Yeah, that's, oh, who, that's who was filming it. What pops was here with him, was yeah, he? Yeah, bro. What was he like? What a guy. They're both exactly the same, isn't they? Same daps. Just everything. They're like, what is a one inch difference? I think his dad's a bit of a boy, though, at the valleys. Like, they got all 10 different kids he got, about, he got about 10 birds the names tattooed on him <laughs> yeah. Valerie yeah. Stella yeah. fucking Jolene yeah. he's like oh I can't come on the podcast that's what I'm yeah, good, my man. missus will kill me but yeah. which one yeah, which one yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's good though I like him because you can just tell he's, uh, he's got a heart of gold yeah, yeah, you yeah. know them guys yeah bro yeah and like he, he, he was like oh we'll have to go out for a pint man we'll have to go out for a pint I took him out then the next week to Canton only in the Ivor Davis bro you should have seen him out of people on his on him like but he's such a genuine he is such a nice person bro like he is like this he loves it as well like he loves he's it he's trying to do a jackass thing now isn't he he's trying to get people to do jackass like videos of i said <laughs> i said that to him i said bro do you know what you need to do you need to do that trolley one do you know when they all get in the trolley and just go down a fat hill? <laughs> Hopefully, do he, don't. Hopefully on, he doesn't do that. On the like. podcast, he was we were saying about maddest things he'd done. Someone offered him two and a half grand to jump off George Street Bridge, bro. I was in fucking new, crying. In a, new bro. foot, no? <laughs> <laughs> I thought they meant the transporter bridge at first. Like, <laughs> no, 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 that's, I know this this is, it's bridge, like bro. a suspension yeah. bridge, isn't it? No, yeah, no, no that's, that's the transport. Yeah, that's the big bridge. Oh, yeah. The George Streets, it's on the same river, it's on the same mouth. The drop yeah. is just. Grim. Ridiculous, bro. You'd probably, you'd probably die, wouldn't you? Yeah, he would have, like, that's so. Death, right? That's why he didn't <laughs> do it. Who's, a, who's offering him two grand to Binky, sicko? Binky, probably. Yeah. <laughs> and he's making a quick five grand, yeah, like. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> so, you know, um, obviously, before the Lord of the Mike singing, I, you, your name grew a bit more from out of Cardiff. You started rubbing shoulders with some big people. You did do Napa for a few years. Was that a big help in the music? No, I went Malia, didn't it? Oh, Malia, yeah, yeah. sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, that was a massive help, bro. I went there 2008 when I was 18 just to look for a job because I knew you could get a job on the mic out there. Luckily, I found the job straight away. On the mic? Or yeah, somewhere yeah, else? Yeah, yeah, What's yeah, the yeah. story there? How did you find the job? Yeah. Um. Well, um. I met... Uh, this kid from Cardiff over there, Luke. I didn't know him too, too tough, innit? So I uh, flew over there. I told my mum I had a job, place to stay. I was all sorted. I had about 150 quid in my pocket. So you blagging your mum, was you, at this Yeah, thing? yeah, yeah. Because she wouldn't have let, she wouldn't have had, even though it was... Blagging music! Yeah. Does, she, <laughs> what, does, she, does, she, does she know now? Um, that you blagged there? Or yeah, I think, yeah, she must do, yeah. Laugh about I've, it now, Well, right? I didn't work for like five weeks because the clubs hadn't opened. So I'm phoning her for money every, yeah. every few yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. And in, and in the end, like, ah, no, piss off, innit? For yeah. my dad, piss off. So me and Luke, we had um, CDs. We made a mix CD. When we when we, we had to do a trial for the for the job, so we had to go in the club when there was no one in there and do a set, and the, and the Greek manager just sit there like this, basically, just watching you. <laughs> what, like an audition? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How the fuck do they know about Greek? They don't, bruv, they don't. Uh, I like you. <laughs> I like Yeah, I like but you. But it's just hosting, you're isn't good. it? You're good. Your lyrics really like, good. Like. Very good. <laughs> Yo, that lyric you said about uh, the bookie pen is very good. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all hosting, just, isn't it? That's mad. It's all, it's all big up. <laughs> I pretended to big up fucking the Leeds crew and that to an empty club. Do you know what I mean? Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. <laughs> and um, so we waited for weeks to start. Um, we had to, we were going out shot in CDs in the end. Five, we'd sell a CD for a fiver or a ten, and that would be our food for the day, like, innit? And um, we had, where were you? How were you living in that? Or did bruv, he... we were we we had an apartment, hundred and fifty euros each. Spam tin, tin no, we, spam in the heat. We had rice, yeah. And you know, <laughs> have you ever seen them dry breads on holiday? Looks like toast. It's like just dry bread, like. <laughs> We bought them and we, we none of us could cook rice. Dried bread. Bread, Dried bread, bread, yeah, and Tabasco sauce. Yeah, and we were cooking rice and it was looking like mashed potato. Uh. We both sat there, no air con, boiling hot, glass of water, <sighs> just putting a bit of this mashy rice on it, bro. Nothing worse, well, nothing worse than Greek tap water, bro. And then my <laughs> in my mum or dad sent me a 50 and it was either go shopping or go get the biggest steak we could get in it. We said, come, let's go get that steak. Man. That's Fuck me. The shop That's what I'm We're like, going bro. to get yeah. a big steak. We had it. And then luckily we started work. But I was getting like 20, 30 euros a night for working from 10 in the night till 5 in the morning. But then... As the years went on, I, it got better and better. But yeah, I met, that's where I met look, most of the people, like promoters and MCs, DJs. And you find them, they know they got mates and they got mates. And as long as you're 
as long as you're networking and you're going to see these people, you meet everyone they know as well, then. You need to put yourself in that position. When was, yeah, you've got to be in it to win it. Like, what was it? the first time you thought, yo, do you know what? Because because I if I was, listen, even if I went on holiday to Spain and I managed to nick someone's microphone <laughs> and I start spitting, I'm going to think I'm a genius. Gas. So when was, the, when was the moment like you thought, yo? It was, well, t- to be honest, it was here. I got booked for um, Sidewinder. Um, nice. Like 2016. So I was like 16, 17. And um, um, so I got booked. I was on L Dot Man's album. Remember L Dot oh, Man, bro? This is this is right. <laughs> these these rap right. Do, do you know what? Before we go on, no, we'll carry on. Go on, carry on. I'll go back. To yeah, you, go on. All right. I was um, gonna say about Channel You and I. I want to know yeah, your thoughts yeah. on it. So AKA, we'll go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, I was on L Dot Man's album. L Dot Man, two girls kissing L Dot Man. <laughs> what was his um? Yeah, Pond the River. Yeah, Pond the Bank. <laughs> I'm white. He was part of, um, you know, Big Nasty. You're Big Nasty. Everyone knows Big Nasty. So he was part of, oh, was it N-Dubs, wasn't it? N-Dubs, yeah. There was two n oh, well, it was N- yeah. they done the Clash song, didn't yeah, they? N-Dubs, yeah. so it's n But like Big Nasty and L-Man were in the same crew. Like, but these guys, you don't hear of no more. Like, do you know what I mean? Nah, it's, but big na- only Big Nasty, really. But, but yeah. I think I think some of them will have jobs behind the scenes yeah, now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because they weren't even that big then, really. No, like, no, we know? just thought, we thought it was bigger. Um, And then I got booked for Sidewinder. I got my, like, artist band. I went through the, the, it was in Bristol 02. I went through the side door and it was like Wiley Skepta, Skinny Man, Trim, um, Mr. Wong. <laughs> like, Mr. Wong in his fucking yellow Adidas tracksuit. Yeah, like all the people I've been watching on Channel U <laughs> for the last two, three years, they were there in front of me. And I'm got about to go on stage around yeah. the same time yeah. as them. And that's when I thought, fucking hell. Well, the, the first video I ever seen, like, professionally recorded, like a music video from Wales, was the Big on the Roads, the the Sicky, the... Big on the Roads. Yeah, We're Big, big on, on the roads. roads. That was the first one. But, like, did you ever think about, like, I'm going to put a song on Channel U? Like, because it's only you put many... It's like you being framed, really, innit? Where yeah. you just, like, send your video in. You could also send... Me- or oh, was I okay? Yeah, you could text and watch it when you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Remember yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Crew yeah. massive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then either you would be messaging back, like he <laughs> argued on channel yeah. AKA. Some little fucking word in fear word. By the time you know you're 20 pounds down in credit yeah. from tax. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh mate it's funny bro funny the things you do in it and them days like yeah. one extra now you're out with your girl like you're out with your boys yo shout out fair water yeah. crew yeah waiting, yeah. waiting for it. yeah 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 oh, but yeah like did you ever think about like putting like something out on there because they were the only platforms you had at the time bro. just didn't like never, never I didn't think we'd ever thought about it because we always just thought we they we thought we're, they were famous and yeah. things you know what yeah, I mean yeah it's mad isn't it bro mm. so we all we always literally thought it was out of reach so from Mali, uh, from Malia then, but like you come back. So this is like if that's 08, so like 0, 10, 12. Because I've done ten years in Malia, ten, in 10 summers, years. isn't it? Yeah, ten summers. And I've grown progressively every year. Yeah, every summer. I've had people. a good tan. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I came on with no tan. Bro. Any mad stories of Malia, like? Um, yeah, a few, bro. Um, one that stands out for me. My one <laughs> mate rented the car before. He didn't take it back. So they said they got nicked, didn't it? But they didn't get nicked. They just found it and just taking it back because that's what they do, like, yeah. didn't it? Woke up, nah, there's like five Greek guys in the room. Fucking, they take my two mates with them. My one mate, Luke from Cardiff Pro, Lucas Alexander, he got glasses in it. The one guy slapped him. Bro. Shut up. His glasses went from one side of the room to the other. Come with us on the back of the bike, innit? Literally getting kidnapped on, oh, on having backies as kidnapping, like being you know I mean? ushered, like, like uh, on it's the not back. even like come with me, it's like get on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're basically, no put, put your arms around. You're me. like hugging your kidnapper, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, Maybe don't don't drive fast. Yeah. Slow down, slow down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can we stop one. off a sec? <laughs> so oh, yeah, I need a drink in it. So yeah. um, so they took him to the car shop. They locked him out the back. And they were giving them little clips now and then or whatever, innit? Oh, that's rude, man. I know, and they're saying, right, we want, we want five grand, they're saying. We want five grand for this car. So I, my boss was, my my boss is a guy like, innit? So um, I went to see him. He's like, so we took us to the shop then. They're arguing in Greek. They say, two grand, got it down to two grand. Even though I know these two have ended up got a deal between them for a grand each probably, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so um, they said, my boss said, right, Three of us who worked in his club, he said, none of you are getting paid for, for 20 days. Yeah? I'm taking your wages every night. And because he's paying us pennies, 
The same club I was getting paid 25 quid in, yeah? I'm getting paid 150 in a few years later, and it ain't as busy oh. as it was when I'm getting 25. So I know we could have been paying me good money then, innit? So he's taken the 25s, the 30s off us, and it built up. Come to the last night, we paid it off, and then he sacked the other two boys. Oh. He said, right, <laughs> he paid it off now. See you later. Yeah. What? And then... They want allowed to work. It's, it's politics, or yeah, yeah, they want allowed yeah. to work in another club. Then they had to go and work in another club. Clicky for as fuck, like yeah. So, so, so even you know, you could go back there now, and you you'd see the same guy. You'd see the same guy. Yeah, you? yeah, yeah. He's been my boss again since. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that's nice, so brev, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's, you know, or, or is it more sinister? Is it like nah, nah. if you come over here, you're only coming to me? Like <laughs> no, I, oh, shit, nah, I'm sorry, my mic's. Uh, that's a lie, bro. No worries. They respect. <laughs> Yeah, it gets to a point now where you, I could go to the different clubs and, and they say, I'll give you this, I'll give you this, I'll that's give you good. this. And then, that's good, that's good. Yeah. So so from then, then, is this how Lord of the Mics came? Yeah, I um, I knew Shorty from Boy Better Know anyway from, from Malia, just from years of him coming over there. So it did there. pay off then, Malia? Yeah, yeah, definitely. For the people watching as well, just explain some, like, briefly who these people are, because there's going to be people watching who don't really know who Boy Better Know are. Yeah, and what is, yeah, the lo what is yeah, those? Just explain the situation <laughs> and, like, the people involved in it. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Lord of the Mics is a is a battle league, a grind battle league. It's been like seven of them now. They're all in Jammer's house. Um, it was a guy. It was a guy from Boy Better No Grime Crew. Skepta's vs Devil Man was Lord of the Mics. Wiley vs Kano. Um, Ears and Tinsy Strider. There's been some. Who got, who got and Demon. Someone got punched. Um, in the face, so. Maga. Maga by Lazy. lazy. Yeah. No, la yeah, Maga punched Lazy. Yeah, because he was talking about his missus, wasn't he? Yeah. 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 Was it by the was... steps? Yeah, yeah. That's where they all were, steps. really. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I done one on them steps and one and one in um Billionaire Boys Club shop. Yeah, because they switched the it, didn't they? pop-up shop. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was like a pop-up event, yeah. So, um, yeah, but, uh, Lord of the Marks is, is, is the original grind battle league and like all the, all the big names have been on there, basically. So... Name some names for people that are watching. Like Wiley, Kano, Tinchy Strider, Dizzy, Devil Man. Crazy Titch. Uh, crazy Titch, Dizzy they, haven't done it. I thought, but no, but I thought they did do, on Lord of the Mics 1, you had the ones on the steps, but you had, if you remember, you had Nasty Crew versus SLK. Yeah. You had Bruiser versus Napper. Yeah. Uh, Bruiser versus Crazy Titch, crazy, sorry. Yeah. But Dizzy Rascal and Crazy Titch, remember the beef they had? Yeah, but that was but our, it Lord, it was just no. one of the sets, was Yeah, it? that was a radio set, it, wasn't okay, it? Okay, now I get it. it. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I think they had, I think, it was iconic though, innit? Yeah, they must have had a little beef and then someone said something and then I'm not a muck, I'm yeah. not a muck. <laughs> and they went onto the roof. Yeah. And then they was on Westwood clashing then as well, innit? Yeah. But yeah. Westwood. Um it's basically right that it's 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 where you want to be, like if uh, uh, not sorry. so much now because it's it's dying, like you it know wasn't what I mean? like but Link Up TV and G Act, like it was, that was that a was, platform, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. You had Risky Roads as, as like a DVD, which you'd go round, and you had Aim High Volume Ones, yeah. Twos, and Threes, but you had look like all them were just Aim High and them. They're just like the type of SBTVs where they go out. But then if you went on load of the mics. You You've were made saying, it, like. you, yeah, you're, you're the best of that type of grime MC because obviously they had different types of MCs as well. Like you'd have people like Flirty, who's yeah. like a sound guy. Like SLK. You, was he an yeah, SLK? Yeah, YouTube was it even? It was going by the DVD. DVDs, if you yeah, yeah, yeah. If you DVDs. want to find out what they look like, phone in, texting for your votes <laughs> and all that shit. Yeah, man. You were like the forefront, really, of like British hip hop, bro. British rap, yeah. that yeah. sort of thing. Lord of the Mics <laughs> is, bro. Yeah, that is, but that is a part of it. But I was on Lord of the Mics six. Get me. It but was still, it was still who was P Money versus Big H yeah. was still the, the main that was was just still the the headline on there. So yeah. it was still, you know, it was still big like, yeah. yeah. But the first ones. But it was more raw then. It wasn't as big at first no. as it is now. It only got big because of the people who were on there and the legacy they've made. I di mm. I disagree with the microphones in the in the big buildings and stuff because it's just because he's trying to make the money off it now. We yeah. need the ticket sales. Yeah, they weren't the like, same. You need it in, <clears throat> in the dungeon. You need yeah, it in the dungeon. Definitely. So you must be happy that you did actually do one there. Yeah. It was nice <gasps> to be in the dungeon because it was such an iconic room. Yeah. And I was a bit nervous, but when I got there, there were so many lights in my face, I couldn't see anything. So it <laughs> There's was probably like, about 12 men yeah, in like the car. I don't even know what the bottom of Jammer's steps looks like. Wow. Because you didn't even get down there, no. did you? But I'd only been there for Lord of the Mugs 5 because because Madman had beef with Devil Man. He wanted to do a little video. So we went up to watch. Who uh, did? Madman or Devil Man? Madman. Madman had beef with Devil Man. So, well, before, like, before you go on to that, this is what I wanted to know, right? Because obviously, they are they still beefing them too? I don't think because, so. Because like Devil Man works with Traumatic, you know yeah. Traumatic, obviously, yeah. and then Sticky like Madman is from in lives now. in Newport. I, it's just mad, like, innit? Because they both come to like Wales in a way, like, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, like um, 
it's turning up and moving it's back in the day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, remember, I, I remember the report and I liked the Yeah, there was the videos recording and that. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I've heard all that. But, you know, it, it, it could have been put into context. But it? I think they've... I think Madman's been his manager since. Or Fair something play. Like, but... Ski's in jail now for the for the long one. Like, yeah, so. I seen I seen him in Cardiff. Like he was in Cardiff on remand, but he's a funny guy, in mate. Yeah, man, he's, he's and, good and he's goal, a good bro. performer as well. This madman, like, yeah. he like, do you know what I mean? Um, for garage music and stuff, I've seen. And he's him. respected. That's why. That's when I first when I, uh, shortly introduced me to Skepta. It was Madman was kind of the first name I, I dropped like as a mutual friend. Then well, so Madman's pretty like, city. In he's the, city, bro. Tied up. With all he's that, a city guy, like, isn't he? How and, did you meet Skepta, bro? That's through Madsky, yeah. Madsky. Well, we, I had, I've Shorty, me and Shorty went. I said to Shorty, come for for zoo in in Malia. He said he brought Skepta with him, and then we just got talking, innit? What's he and like? I, is he a nice guy? Skepta? Yeah, he's yeah, he's proper bro. Yeah. And, and did I, you know he was going to be as big as he was then? Yeah, oh, he was, he's, he's been big. Time, yeah. he's, he's been course. big from the time. No, I know. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Like now with ASAP, like now, bro. Like he's America. Yeah, yeah. Like when you go to America, then you're just you level up. Again. Yeah, the thing is, with yeah, Skepta, you so. were smashing the mainstream sound. Mm. So, oh, well, this is going on in it. You get me? He's getting. He went a bit dry. Radio. I thought though, them days. I, that micro- was, was it microphone chat? Yeah. Like All them, them. Yeah, yeah. But you think I'm a bad boy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, that's when he dipped. A bit, I was like, yo, yeah. really? But, the, but then everyone was doing you it. Got it. Chip was doing it. Tinji, mm. they all were trying to do it. Yeah. This is the. Let's talk about that actually. I mean, like, what, like, what you think with grime at the moment? Because I've seen like some crazy statements, like H as well, saying about like no one under his age cares about grime anymore. I disagree. UK, yeah, because you even said this as well, isn't it? No one really cares about grime. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not it's that. You, but yeah. if you go to places like Japan, Australia, it's massive. Like, it's, yeah, it's like they're be like they're catching up to it now. Like Brazil, they they're all wearing the flag, like and. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's a shame, me, because I think they should always have that pocket of a culture here, even if it ain't as big. Like, it was never big anyway. It was always underground. Yeah. I, but, but it's it like that seems dying. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what you mean? Like, at the roots? I think the word grime is dying, but anybody who's like a drill at it's not. It would is. have been a grime, would have been a grime mm. MC. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's this, like, anything to me, there's 140 that goes boom, boom. Is grime. Yeah, 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 if, yeah. if the beat is one, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. if the beat is initially one kick snare, yeah, 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 and it's around one forty, it's grime to me anyway. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. If you hear the beat, you think even if I hear the drill, yeah, beat, the songs, I think, oh, do you know what? You I tear, grime, I tear like, yeah. you yeah. asshole. It's a lot of uh, grime <laughs> artists doing the like Izzy and like Izzy Gibbs. Now they're doing they're spitting their grime flow over the drill beats now yeah. anyway because it's goes. the same speed. Yeah. The only difference is for me, drill goes. Hi hat. It's got that. Yeah, it's that. The bass and the bass goes. I say like that's the difference. Yeah, hi hat. Yeah, just non. Yeah. I'll be honest, old boys. Like it does make me like they say about the music and how does it like. I do feel just a type of way when I hear that music. I'm not going to lie, like... What, that? Just like, yeah, it's just, it's just a horrible song. Yeah, I, I don't think. rate it. I think some, it's horrible. I, I, like, when I, I hear the grind beat, it's some, more like boppy and like... Mm, I like some yeah. melodic stuff, though. Yeah, but I just find, I yeah, like. it sounds all the same to me, the, the drill. Yeah. I think maybe it's... I like Honcho and that. Yeah, but maybe it is. It, it's the rappers on it. They all sound the same as well yeah. to me. Like it's, they're just talking the same shit. Bars get recycled in drill. Yeah, mm. there's like five flows, which a lot of, a lot of them stick to, like, innit? Five. Yeah. Mm. Can you explain any of them? Well, like... maybe three then. Go on, then. <laughs> um, do you want to give got Heady's fucking... Oh, Heady for no, 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and Millions that... Millions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's that on that Millions. That talky one. Yeah. Yeah. Then you've got... Tundi. Doing We're not dipping, dipping, yeah, dipping, yeah, yeah. slipping, dipping. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you've got the auto-tune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sort of like... But, like, you like control because probably because it don't all... It's not all... He's, he's coming with different melodies yeah. and whatever. I love the old Huncho. You love Huncho. Badi Huncho. Now, Huncho is sick. I like yeah. Badi Huncho, I did. What, he's, re- he's reviewed... Oh, no, yeah. No, he used you got to a mask wear, used to wear a Badi and he weren't really... Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. Now yeah. he's got a mask okay. and he's really, Do you know what I'm on about? Like, yeah, yeah, Badi. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> it's Badi Huncho and mask Huncho. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, what, he's taking the Badi off? No, it's a mask now. It was a video of him, though, wasn't it? It was a video of him. Yeah, I think he was trolling, like, because it was him in Dutch Valley, weren't it? Like, oh, touchy. Touch your smelly. Yeah. No, I'm joking. Um, anyway, yeah, go on, go on. <laughs> um, what, um... So, so yeah, load of the mic six then, yeah. When did you, like, um, meet JK? I'd met JK uh, 2008, when mm. Sox was when Sox was at his peak. Um, Brum. Yeah, and we were doing, like, that. yeah, and he was doing this thing, Grind Blog TV and that. Um, me and Ferncrest, no, 2009 it was, me and Ferncrest were in Malia. We knew this kid who was, who was playing Sox on Xbox. 
Mm. And then, <laughs> that, yeah. So that's one of the few world boys told me they used to play for socks on Xbox. Yeah, you probably did, bro. You probably got it wrong, didn't you? And we, had to get, we got his number then through Xbox. Don't tell me you fucking Wrong him, lynched him from that. Yeah, one. yeah, phoned him, man. You're good at card, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good at music. <laughs> do you want to do a tune? So nah. we brought him down to Newport. They'd done a book in... in um, he done one in Welsh Club as well, didn't he, JK? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was about two, three years after that was. Okay. And... Um, yeah, and then we we went to Jamie Winchester's studio. Shout out Jamie. Yeah, and Jamie and JK, I think it was one of the first times he MC'd like, innit? Maybe the first studio so session. He had no music out of this. Time. No, no, he didn't have any of his So what songs he was just out. rolling my socks, is it just is Yeah, his... yeah, basically. And then it was me, socks, JK and and, and Fernquest. And of course, it's a Wales to Bromtown Link up. Sparky <laughs> Spliffson. Put your drinks up. Hey. <laughs> yeah. That's mad. That's fucking that's iconic, really. Yeah, it was massive for us then, because Socks was Socks was the oh, the, Socks was hard, wasn't he? Was I the love Socks for lyrics. Like, yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, he, was yeah. the, he was. I love the the Brummy accent. His flush raw. His well, yeah, flush raw. Me out. I mean, I asked him to spit that lyric, and I said, "Can you spit the flush back?" <laughs> and he was like, "Yeah." Bringing his bags with powder in. And do you know what I love about him? He just don't give a fuck. Like he, he's proper. Like. He don't dress he up don't, like yeah, a... Yeah, like he's, he's, he's just a he's typical just, white yeah. boy from Brumla. I love his um, storyteller. You know, that Japanese boy. Oh, yeah. From yeah. Yeah. yeah, smashed it. He lives going abroad now as well, don't he? That we lives to... He, he, like, I don't really see him here. He's always, like, performing abroad. Yeah, he was... I think he lived... I think he lived in Spain for a bit because he talks Spanish on a few on a few tunes, yeah. isn't he? Uh, Tarragona and I... Like, he talked... Well, no, that's a place, but... <laughs> I hear him mention yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Patagonia. Yeah. Yeah, big up socks. Hopefully, he, he he starts he starts smashing it. Again. Yeah, well, I, I, do you know what It'd I mean? It'd be bro? nice to see him and Jay do a tune together. Bro, do they still him. speak? I, f- I think so. I think so. Yeah, because they were quite tight, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, they were. They were. Like, do you know what? They were the second. Uh, this I think when Lord of the Mics Five, like that's when they started to open up away from London, weren't it? Maybe like it was dying down, and Birmingham started to carry the flag. Then didn't they? Yeah, it yeah. was all glue to Brum, like it was. And that music scene then, the DC Studio videos I used to watch, the JDZ, the P Woman, was the Midlands. They, they they flew that flag, didn't yeah, they, for a yeah. long time? And yeah, Depths man, shout out to Depths. I man, went like, DC Studios, yeah, gone in there. And you can, you can, everyone's just like, it lights off. Everyone burning, whatever. Like, quite intimidating, isn't it? Is it? Being there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I came up and I came up and I went, I was looking for the toilets. So I walked through like the crowd. I got to this like back room and there's a room like this. There was a little room on the next, next to it. So as I walked in this room, there's these five kids. One big kid, isn't it? He goes, loco. I turned around and he went, you fucking shit blood. I thought, I just got there now. Been there like two oh, minutes. Why, innit? man? I got to go back out and MC and all this. Do you know what I mean? And I thought, oh, fuck. And um, so then I went outside. The invasion were coming. Invasion crew. So um, Vader. Yeah, smash the hit, man. They, they were doing hit a lot man. of drum and bass as well, innit, at the time? Who's? Who? Like inv- Invasion or that? Um, no. No, I don't think so, bro. There's, there's Invasion when UK they start there doing that? They started doing drum and bass sets, though. I'm sure they started doing I, drum- I don't know, bro, to no, be honest. I'm the only lying. The only one out of there I know doing drum and bass was Socks. Is it? But, I, um, that's what I'm on about, like Invasion Alert and I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Invasion yeah. Crew was Va- Vader's crew, it was. Vader, then, you ain't seeing Vader on drum and bass, bro. Va- 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 He's va- a grime va- va- Vader. Yeah, and then they came, so I went outside, and when you go in DC Studios, it was like steps. Yeah, it's big steps, isn't it? And, I, and I, I seen him at the top, and I thought, I need to go up there now, and I need to walk past him now. For the, just to see if I'm getting banged in my face or do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you've got to test yeah, it. Because yeah, you don't want to sit there and just fest no, and wait for no something chance, to happen, yeah. bro. And just crawl so, in the so shadows. I seen him, I thought, right, let me just get up them Yeah, if I'm so getting banged, I'm getting banged like, now. No, yeah, but <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? It didn't happen, like, innit? But that was, that's my, that's the only time I've been in. That's my only, only memory of that place. Was he thinking. an MC himself? Just he might have been idiot, rough. just hanging around, yeah, like intimidating him. MC, yeah, he might have been an people. ad MC, like, he could just punch <laughs> you in the face if he wanted. No, I've seen something, I, I, it must have been like on a, like a Mo Gilligan sketch, it was someone, and it's like, you know that rapper who's just crap like, but like, he gets, like, he gets features and that, yeah, because he's just hard, like, <laughs> <laughs> he's one of them ones, like, yeah. isn't it? Funny, yeah, so that's where Depp's died then, is it? Did he die at DC? I think so, some, I th- it was... I don't know. All I know is just the memorial for his friend who That's got killed mad, the year before, it? wasn't it? Did you meet? Did you meet Depps? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I met yeah. Depps only uh, once or twice. He was larger than life, wasn't he? He yeah. was quite a character. Yeah, like. yeah. Everyone yeah. loved Depps. Yeah, I, everyone just loved him, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. His J, was his JDCs? They were. Mm. 
He's done or, a f- or P1 one knows what they he, were. He's done they a few. Legends, Spitfire man. was his yeah. Spitfire was sick. The one night before on the beach that was yeah a legend yeah. And when he's a sneak ball and all that one there on night before. He was with them, was he? Yeah, on Back yeah. So when you met Skepta, then was it like straight away you started keeping in touch because obviously you've done three piece meal and people who don't know three piece meal was produced by Skepta. Yeah. He gave you that beat. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. So how did that come about, mate? Um, well, that night that we met. We, he said, "Come back to the hotel later, chill." So I went back to the went back to the hotel, and he was um he was remixing um Ace Hood Flow. He got a oh, tune Ace Hood Flow, iconic. and he's making yeah banging tune. He's mm. making a remix to it, mm. and I and I thought, oh, fuck this. I'm, I didn't even know if he knows I'm an MC at this point. <laughs> you know what I mean? I thought you're mad. I'm spitting the lyric, innit? Yeah. Started spitting the lyric, and halfway through, really stopped it, stopped the tune, said, "Run it again." Then he um put a tweet because he was supposed to fly home that day. Then he put a tweet that night saying, um, I was supposed to fly home this morning, uh, just met an, but I've just met an MC called This Logs, God Works in Mysterious Ways. I thought, here we are. That's Lovely. mad, bro. And then the next time he came over then, I started speaking to him, you get me retweeting and all that shit. Like when, tw- when I was, I don't use Twitter no more, when I was using Twitter. Um, and then every time he came then, I go and link him. And then I linked him in Cardiff. And then, yeah, we just, just, just made he come to Cardiff, did he? Yeah, I, yeah. I've I, never. Has he ever performed in Cardiff? Yeah, a few he times. Yeah, this was in. Um, was that Frequency Domain or something like? I swear he performed in one of them. Like it was base. This like was base Nike's club, which used to be Club X, isn't it? You know, oh, it used to be the no. yeah, it used to be the gay club, and then it turned into like a messy drum and bass club. Yeah, and um, he was doing a set in there, and um, we linked we linked him after it, and um, we got to the hotel. And I, I, we was down the Nova, Nova Hotel, innit? Nova Hotel. Yeah, yeah. and um, we were all going into the room. I thought, I'm, I'm done, innit? Because that's one thing, if I'm with people who's, who like, who are smashing them, whatever, I never want to outstay my welcome, do you get me? I yeah, don't yeah, ever yeah. want to, if I don't need to be there, I ain't going to be yeah, there. Yeah, fair you know enough, I mean? fair enough. And, um, that's good. So I said, I said I'm going, like, innit? But I, I didn't have no money on me. I said, Got I, need, two quid for uh, the I, need, I need a tenner for my, for my taxi, like, innit? And um, <laughs> yeah, I say to Skepta, yo, I need to tell her to get home. Like, and um, so he ripped out the big thing. Give me like, I just said, what was he? Uh, one of like, well, he's a cash man, is he? Is yeah, he must have just got paid cash in the club or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and, you know, I know it's nothing like it's not nothing major. But he said, you are take that like in it because I because I opened up for him or whatever, introduced him onto the stage, and um. Yeah, I just knew, you just know this, that's, a, that's a proper guy. Like, yeah, yeah that's yeah. you asked him for a tanny, give you a one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. well, so then, like, even me asking for the tanny, throw for the cheeky little bastard. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I was walking on. Yeah, I was walking on, yeah. <laughs> I bet you don't, don't ask, you don't get. Exactly. You must have had the little good feeling going home, man, didn't but you? But then he sent me a beat, didn't he? He sent me, he sent me that. And I had that beat for like a year. I didn't know. Was you unsure of what you wanted to do with it? Yeah, because I'll be honest, I didn't love the beat. He made it, so buzzing, but I didn't love the beat. Like, it's, it, it's, like that, it's like that, it's like that shutdown one, isn't it? Is it kind of like, yeah, it's on that very vibe, similar yeah. to the he shutdown always brings song. That yeah. the song. He got the same, he always brings yeah, he got that, that bass, he uses the same bass in it. Yeah. Yeah. I love that bass though, I'm not going to lie, I like it. Well, they all, they, they all have, JME got his sound, yeah, Wiley yeah. got his, Jammer got his. Yeah, yeah, that's you why you know when you're a producer, because he started as a producer, didn't he? It is a banger though. He was. a banger. Skepta started as a producer. He was a DJ, DJ, yeah, and then, and then there was a there was a there's a program about it um, about he murder was in Meridian beats on his phone, uh, Xbox, yeah, on PlayStation yeah. or something like that. I know. And there was a murder in the street that he lived. Yeah. And Meridian blood sucks. Because, because someone on the, on the vinyl said the word Meridian on the songs. They, yeah, when I've seen the DJing, police. The met police. Yeah, they come and it. took all his vinyl and his decks and that off him, off Skepta. The and then he thought, right. I have to. Uh, the only thing I can do now is MC because all my stuff's gone. That's, That's mad. mad isn't yeah. It? And then look at him. That's insane. That right. now, yeah, that's but he right. obviously had a, you know, like where he's making music and that, he's probably got an ear for like songs yeah, and stuff they, like they, that. They're so all talented. It does it? help, innit? Do you get me? No. 100%, man. That's, who that's, else? That's, that's mad. Who else, like, big have you, like, worked with and that? Like, who, like, you must have some crazy names as well. Who else? Um, well, I, I, I've, I know loads of people in the scene, like, like people who I've been watching my whole life. Like, I know Wiley. <sighs> I've been in studio with Mike Skinner from the streets. That was that was that was Red Bull Studios in London. Is is he had a thing called Tonga Balloon Party, and there's a guy Merkis Dave who was like his, his sidekick in there, and and me and Merkis Dave are mates, and he said come come along like in it we're doing five days of studio so come to one, 
half ten in the morning to like six in the night. Did he know you were coming, Mike? Yeah, or yeah. Did different kids people just like, every day, I think it was, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So I'll get to there half ten, yeah? The time is starting. The studio guy said, no one's come this week yet at half past ten. <laughs> so by the time anyone had got it, I'd made two tunes. Mate, you was late for us, were you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I never, I ne I'm never late. I, well, yeah, if it's not my fault, if usually if I'm waiting for a lift or something, I'm, I'm late. But usually I'm never late, but I didn't set an alarm. Yeah, yeah. um, I thought I was going to get up, but I was on the <laughs> It's all right, mate. It's all right. It's all right. I, know, I, know, I know. My dog get my own work. Right, <laughs> <laughs> you made two tunes with Mike Skinner. No, it? I made two tunes before anyone had come there. It's just so work rate, so bro. So then Mike came. Mike came first. Then. Fucking hell, mate. Who's like, this guy? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he made fucking two songs. What's he studio. like? What's he like? A nice he was, guy. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I'll be honest. I didn't get into much conversation because I was. A, it was one of the only times I was a bit struck. Do you know what I mean? I didn't know. What, I don't He's know. Different gravy. Yeah, and I don't know his brain work, so I didn't want to. Start just, I didn't want the wrong conversation to get me. So I, just chill. I just said, <laughs> even though I just like, ah, yes, Mike, fist back on my phone. I mean, thinking, yeah, right. Yeah. And Should then, have kicked in and been like, a new day, another morning after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in a busy spoon cafeteria. <laughs> but it was um, beer drinking out there. And then, and then um, Mikhail Payne came, and then Rags, the guy who made shut down with Skepta, then Jammer came, and then it turned into a like a big mad studio session. Okay, By twelve o'clock, I'm mash up, like mash up. <laughs> Who's this Welsh kid? Jammer's like got his top steaming. off. Stood on the stood on the mixing board like that. Uh -huh. Thinking, fuck. So we done like three or four tunes, but nothing ever happened from that. But that being being there with Mike Skin and a few other names in there, that was a, that was a six. That's crazy. Bit. Yeah, that's nice, man. What um? So from there, then obviously you have done that that first thing with JK years ago. What made you come around to like? Obviously, just before lockdown, this song chat came out massive. Um, how did that come about? And you know, how how's it going for you now? Well, I seen a, this is a producer from Cardiff, Marcus Jakes. Um, yeah, Vatalu. Yeah, sick producer. He put up um, a thing on Facebook, play, play, and it was a tune that he'd already brought out. So I said, and it was a woman singing on it. So I messaged him. I said, "Oh, can you take the woman off this and let me have a go on it?" Yeah, happy day. Sent it over to me. I wrote like a 32 for it. So chat was the first four bars. I went, Gallum chat, Manum chat, champagne chat, chat, and I'll bring it back. And dun -dun 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 -dun. It would go from there then. You get me? It wasn't yeah. chat again. And then Gavin was supposed to go on it. Fernquest was supposed to go on it. I was waiting ages because I said, this is our, this is our, because we're booked in loads of festivals together. This is our festival tune. Do you it? think he regrets it? They got it. No, 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 because. <laughs> No, he don't because don't? the tune is what it is. It now. To, JK is what mate like. Yeah, yeah, like, I knew you were right. Back right, never right. gone anywhere. Not saying because Gavin no. was on it, but it got it got the best push it possibly could have got. Hundred percent. Yeah, because yeah, because it's Jay. Like, and he's 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 killing it, and he got good management. They know what they're doing, and, and I bet Gavin's the type of person who's lyric. happy for you as yeah, well. Yeah, oh yeah, he loves it, bro. Mm. We've had times because of that song. Now we've had good times. You get me, like. Yeah, We've your got, chemistry, you two together, seem like you're like best mates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is, yeah, he is my best mate. Really, like yeah, shout out to, to shout day, out yeah, to Fern. Yeah, shout out to Fern. Mm. Um, uh, right, what was you on about then? So JK, oh yeah, you sent in the beats. Yeah, I sent him. No, so no, I done my own version, and then I sent it to Kudgy, innit? Big up Kudgy. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know when you get in your car, you got a tune on your iPhone, you get in the car, and the same one plays every time. Mm. He said that was the tune for him, innit? Kept playing and playing and playing. He knew he knew it all within about two weeks, and he used to do my head in the bottom. And he said, "Give why don't you give it to JK? Because he knew we're mates, innit? And I thought, yeah, that's 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 a good idea. So I I emailed Jay because I I I sent him something. I can't remember what I sent him a week before. I sent him something else. So I had his email, sent it over to him. Within like ten minutes, he said, "This is my next. This is the next single, but just chat wow. is gonna be the chorus, innit?" Like chat, we'll have chat, repeat chat twice. I'll do the verses. Yo, you must have thought there. I was on site. I know, I know. Like you're doing bitch yourself, but you know, before that, some of his songs, like you know, have been bangers. Yeah, like, like, really doing well. Yeah, oh, okay. you know what I mean, bro. He was on power, yeah, really. Yeah. Like, so I'm on site. I'm putting in fucking um, insulation for my mate. We had like two, three works. Me and Stavs, he was. Shout and, and Stavs on top of the scaffold. I'm like, ah, yo. <laughs> Next tune with JK. And we're going to Greece to shoot the video wow. in a fucking, in a wow. month. Wow. It's all over the radio then. And yeah, then, yeah. And it was on Radio 1 like five times a day. Man, then, That's insane, bro. So we shot the video in, in Zante. And then we and then we went to Murky Fest then. Went straight to, to Ibiza, to Murky Fest, to, to Stormzy's event. How long, it, how long after, uh, since then, did COVID kick in? Did you have, do you think you had enough yeah, yeah, push yeah, for yeah, it? Or yeah, you did, did yeah, you? Yeah, we did, yeah. It was the summer. So you, was, you, you milked, you rinsed August it August 2019. Okay. And it was 
March 2020. Yeah, it? okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, so. But then it probably affected your next release, so surely. Yeah, well, I brought out Cheers after that, which done. Big which, song, yeah, yeah. That was done, a banger. Yeah, and then This Time of Morning. And they both came out through doing bits worldwide, which is JK's label. Yeah. And then, and now I've got, now I've got a manager. I've got, since then, I've managed to get myself yeah. a manager, Mickey Slim, who's like Examples manager, and um, Todd Edwards, a few sick people to get me and since then then we we do it ourselves like what's the one you've done um is it was it a hot is it hot box the, what's the one where you play the street song in it oh you last jdz that, J, that is, was yeah, jdz yeah. Mm. bro you smashed that yeah that's the, i, I gotta be yeah. fair like um if anyone haven't heard that make sure you go and listen to that because so i've got a house but it ain't got a roof yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, you smashed it bro if you've got any more of them man. like how do they come about uh, do they contact you do you contact them like how does that work with these type of channels with JDC, yeah, I never really bother with the channels, in it because, um, because I've never have pursued it. I just don't, just don't, unless it pops up. But with JDC, Gavin's friends with Jake, so when a new series pops up, usually Gavin, Jake will talk to Gavin, and he gets arranged for us both to go up there and, and do one. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, Gavin, he's the link with JDC. Oh, nice, nice. But um, other than that, yeah, like unless someone, if someone messaged me and asked me if it's worth it, if the channel's doing well or whatever, I'll go and do it. But I am done. A f I'm gonna go and do a f one in Bristol now. Freestyle for a camera, but I haven't done one since then. I don't think. Do you do, do you miss doing them? Uh, do, like because that is more of the raw the raw side of it, isn't it? You're just going here, you're just laying out a couple of lyrics. Yeah, you know, make. Do you enjoy making the music now more than the old DIY type of? Um, I I miss the community like part of it. Everyone being in the same place. Yeah, but no, because I got a studio set up in my bedroom now. It's nice to be able to hear my voice. Yeah, not like on whatever beat I want, whatever time I want. That's that's the beauty of it. Well, believe it or not, like, they, like I know, like, you know, Wales is, like, kind of pushed aside with talent and that, but there's been a massive community. If you look back now over the last 10 years in Wales, it's a massive community. Massive. Mm. Uh, it'd be nice, wouldn't it, if they'd done some sort of reunion, like, do you know what I mean? And just had all old people who used to be, who who could, who have done well, who haven't, who, you know, yeah. just to meet up and do something. Who like people, the awards events. Oh, people, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think people do it, though, bruv. Like, looking back, yeah. People right. get embarrassed. No, 100%. Yeah. But what I want to ask you is, looking back at the scene, not who do you think would blow but looking back who did you who, what an, is it any artist out there in the Welsh music scene who you thought was gonna blow but ended up not probably didn't pursue it or something happened I thought, I thought Astro Boys even though Astro Boys did blow I thought they were gonna be a Radio 1 yeah like success they should be they could have been I don't think they should have ever stopped I, any grime MCs I used no? to hate them yeah but I used to enjoy the competition yeah, even yeah, though yeah. we were doing different stuff I used to, used to I used to watch them like go on Adidas and think right yeah. then come on then. And I mean let me try let me try and do sending <laughs> yeah. now do you get yeah. me so I, I we need I need that I need that to happen so I thought I did think they were going to get further Traumatic has done what none of us have done he's different with it anybody mm. he's, selling, he's got New Zealand tours Australia he's like it's like, it's like after him. He, he reminds me of like you know like a vegan community like he's got his own yeah, like yeah, got, yeah, yeah, yeah. community yeah, like yeah, you got a community it's conspiracy for you yeah, rap yeah. like yeah. love it bro I love yeah, it yeah it's different if you get a tune out with Traumatic yeah on Spotify you, you watch your monthly listeners go like up like 30,000 <laughs> he's got a cult following have yeah. yeah he has well leading on to that then who, who, who do you think is in the pipeline for blowing in, in the Welsh music scene um I think Luke Harvey, he got, he's, you know, there's no reason why he can't. Um, there's new, there's youngers now, and there's new music, like, which I'll be honest, don't keep up with it like I should. Because it's hard I don't to. see, I used to keep up because it's competition. Now, because it's all different. Once, if I hear a song I love, then like um, Cujo, you know Cujo? This is what I'm saying. Like, sorry, I don't, <laughs> but I will definitely he's, listen um, to it. He brought out a couple of bangers. He ain't, he, like two years ago, they were amazing songs. I thought he was going to keep going, but yeah, he's mad, isn't it? Reaper, Reaps for me, Reaps. Oh, is, he's, yeah. he's Reaps been is, from day one, haven't he? Sick. I say, even why? Just do, just try and just put something on the channel, see how it goes. Yeah, yeah. But um, it's mad because even like Swansea and I know you're getting like artists from Swansea. Yeah, you've got Jay Speaks and and um, uh, that, uh, the Marino is it? Yeah, the Italian yeah, Marino bro, Marino sick. Yeah, he's, he's got a good one kid, man. I, bang, I man. chatted to him. He's a good kid. He is like fair play. But it's nice to see that it's not just Cardiff and Newport. You've got the valleys now, now and, you know, who's to say in five years' time that we won't have our own sound? Yeah. Do you yeah, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. yeah. You know, that's what I would like to see. 
Because you've got on, even on Instagram, you've got these pages like that, like um, Lanix Entertainment. They keep track on who's out every yeah, week. Yeah, fair play to them. Yeah, you know, yeah. that's, what we, that's what you want, boys. You want to have our own hub. So that's what, kind of what the Central Club's trying to do, is just mm. kind of have a platform for people and stuff. So. Yeah, more platforms in Cardiff, like. Yeah. Mm. What's we, this then? Are you peeling oh, it, bro, you? basically, don't put the whole thing in your mouth. Because it's a, a seed inside the middle. Okay. I've made that mistake. I'll tell you what's paying, boys. It's, it's I love kiwi, bizarre. yeah? And these is that are a gold, kiwi, bro? golden kiwis, bro. Well, that's like, you, isn't it? This is a bang. kiwi. What, is it spicy? No. <laughs> no, it's spicy like you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, boys. How long? What's the time? We'll be gone now, 10 minutes. What we'll is the time, up. though? Uh, t- uh, five to one. All right. The only thing we got to say... So... What's next for local then, bro? Like, what's next coming over the next couple of weeks, and 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 where do you see things going um, over well, the next thing, couple of months? Things are starting to open now. I got I got a UK tour coming in um, October. Um, I haven't put it out yet, but by the time this is out, it's gonna it'll be out. Like, do you yeah, get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I got fourteen dates in seven weeks to do every Friday mm-hmm. and Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From Cardiff to Southampton, flipping London, Birmingham, or everywhere. I've got loads of festivals I'll be doing. Um, Inside Out, Colour Clash, Naz Fest, Sidewinder Festival, Bass Fest. It's quite a few. The first one, Sidewinder, that's the first thing that's happening. I can't wait for that. I can't wait to yeah. dance, boys. I went out for last week or, to do um, Nathan Doerr's show. And um, Nathan. there's no dancing, like. There's no standing yeah, up. Yeah, I was going to say that to you. How do you find performing now in post-COVID? I've only done it twice. Holy and everyone shit. sat down and it's, it's not nice, the same. It's not, it's not the same. It's not a, you do it for the... What day you just go... Yeah, everyone's... I've done a drum <laughs> bass when you're weak. Everyone sat down <laughs> off their heads doing that. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, Oh, my God. Yo, That's mad. Can you, can you read That's the whole mad. thing or just the middle? Yeah, go on, do it. it yeah, you can. Just eat it, just all, eat it bro. all, bro. It's fine. I Stick it all in. Oh, okay. I wasn't Same. sure, like, is it, is it, that's it. All right, yeah, bro. Well, do you know what? Like, listen, thanks for coming down. Before I go, like, is it any, like, for, for, for people out there, young artists, yeah. or young people trying to create, have you got a message to someone in the Welsh scene, Cardiff or Wales, who, who think, like, they're not really, mm. it's hard to find? Have you got any advice for people to be successful? Um, Like, free tips or something like that? I'd say network. Make sure you go places. Make sure you meet people. Make sure you try and leave a good impression on people. You know, mm. be yourself when you when you're making your music. When you're outside the music, try and be this. Unless you're unless you're making wild music, try and be the same for me to try and be the same person on and off the mic. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's good. And and never if once you do something if you do something good, never think that that's it. Mm. I mean, never think never Karen, ne- like going on the back of yeah, that. Don't settle for anything mm. until you got a, until you can settle. You know what I mean? Until you got fifty dogs and nine kids and <laughs> big garden, fifty dogs, man. That's when I know I've I made it when and I a, got over ten dogs and a house of the roof, <laughs> ten, <laughs> no, and a roof on my yeah, house. Yeah. You, I've seen the dog you got, lovely little dog, banging, banging. Mm. What is it? A sausage dog? Yeah, is it? mini mini sausage, man. Yeah, Phoebe. Is that the only Phoebe. dog you got? No, I got got four: two Pomeranians, so, a cockapoo. Um, sausage dog, we got a snake, tortoise. So you got six lizard. more dogs to go before you're successful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two yeah. dogs, like. Because I get a van and I go, I'm going to be doing kids' <laughs> birthday parties, bro. <laughs> yeah, have you got any kids? No, my missus got a kid. But... Oh, nice, yeah, nice, yeah, nice. Yeah. Do you want to have any kids? Um, no comment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I can hear it in the voice. Like, I still think I'm 19 in my head, so. Yeah, no, that's the way, bro. In 10 years, isn't it? When I'm 40, when I'm 40. Yeah, man. When no, happens, listen, yeah. thank you for coming on. Before we go, I just want to do a couple of what you rather questions. Let's There's go. a couple we got. So, okay then. So, you made two bang. you've made a couple of bangers. Uh, what what wouldn't you prefer? Three piece meal or cheers? Um, I'm going to say cheers. Why? Because it was the really beginning of me being of me being me. Do you get what I mean? Finding my sound and knowing that I love this song. I mean, I've done the video in the local pub, which is now shut. My mate Lawrence, one of the old It's shut down, is it? Yeah, it's finished. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. One of the old from iconic Remy. pub as yeah. well. Sentimental. Trust me, big time. And um uh, Lawrence Rest in peace, he's in oh, it. He, rest in peace. He passed away a few weeks ago. So there's a lot of... Oh, that's amazing. Me- bare memories Big sentimental to it, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. shout out to Cheers. Shout out to Rest in Peace to Lawrence. Yeah, man. Big up, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame. Okay. Um, jeans or trackies? Trackies, bruv. Okay. I've worn one pair of jeans in like three years. <laughs> I swear. And I I left him in a hotel on accident. I was fuming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I bought one pair like in, in like 10 what years. What ones were they? 
I don't know. They're from or something. Top with man. numbers Vizzati, on Manati, Vajatis, bro. Uh, Vajatis. <laughs> top man. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Man top. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> um, um, all right. Uh, uh, you know, I, I, I look at you as a grime MC and nothing else. But what do you prefer, grime or garage? Grime. Yes. Okay. Uh, UK tour or abroad? Uh, UK. Why? Just because um, I could know why, where likes me and where don't. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can really you can sense yeah. I could you from that. Yeah, yeah, you can tell like which what places, areas? Yeah, yeah which areas. yeah, where, yeah, yeah. Have I you have you got any preference which you don't really like go into? I love going Bristol, bro. Love Bristol. So you don't like North? What's um, North like? No, they I do like like, like um, I'm when I go Leeds and and places like that. They, yeah, man, I get res- I get respect. I get it's nice, but I prefer doing a show. Down here. Okay, okay. But Cardiff, uh, my Cardiff, only for my own show. Do you get me? For people who are come, like, I don't really want to do club shows. Do you think in like, would you, do you think in like five years time, or even even recent, even closer than that, would you would you love to like perform at the city stadium or something like that? Yeah, yeah. Would that yeah. be your dream? Like? Yeah, that would be banging. Splot Market was my dream, and I done that. When Did it, you? It, yeah, it was like seven thousand people in there, bro. Something like that. That's, what was that the warehouse? Yeah, full thing ram up. Bro. No. Oh, you can't people. get you can't get any. Dirt, like dirtier, no, grimier, like realer than yeah. Splat Market. It's not the same nowadays, is it? What do you mean? I for... went there like the other day and it just didn't feel like it was when I was a kid. Yeah, because like, it's because when you're a kid, it's, it's massive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I used to get the uh, Chicago Bulls jeans and like, so my jeans, are <laughs> Chicago Bulls on the back and that man, and buy duffel jackets <laughs> and then dinky donuts, man. They're rough, they are, bro. Like BB guns, I used to yeah. have, uh, All right, then. Um, so uh, these are two massive things in your career. Like, which one would you prefer, which one would you keep? Lord of the Mic Six or Chat? Hmm. Uh, chat. You would keep Chat. Yeah, yeah, because it's made more opportunities for me. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. That's a tough one. I went Radio yeah. One and yeah, thing, yeah. Do you get me? Yeah, man. Yeah, but Lord of the Mic Six. Yeah, Lord of the Mic is sick, but. I needed chat to happen more than yeah, I needed Lord yeah. of the Mics. Nothing to more came out of Lord of the Mics. Lord of the Mics was more f- for for myself and yeah. to sleep at night. Okay. Sick. Um all right, then just some little random ones. So were you a mild or a spice? Spice. If you could explore one of these, what would it be? Deep sea or deep space? Space. Why? Because I was scared of the sea. Okay. And one thing I say to everyone, um, if you could have two superpowers, one for yourself and one to help humanity, what would they be? Um, one for myself, invisible. No, not invisible. Time travel Dodgy for guy like <laughs> Time travel. And where, and where would you travel to? I'll just go back, watch my... Watch my childhood again. Okay. No, because listen, right? This is how this is how daft he is. He goes to me. Um, we said that the other day to someone, and he went uh, time travel. They went where, and he goes what to see the pyramids. The pyramids are still there. You know, you don't like. <laughs> That's just travel, bro. Bro, he goes what? Where, where would you go back to the pyramids? <laughs> I go back to WrestleMania. They're still fucking there. 1998, oh. bro. Be, what, Stone be, Cold Mike Tyson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be, yeah that'd nah, be I, I watched the next one. Um, Fifteen, The Rock, Stone Cold, Undertaker, uh, hung Big Boss Man off the oh, Hell in the Cell. Yeah, yeah, that was the first cell, yeah. one I ever watched. You just watched that on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, you can't. It, I've looked. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have WWE Network, bro. <laughs> okay, so you got one for yourself. Would be time travel. One for others. Just money. Everyone got enough to survive, man. Survive. Okay. Before we go, is it, it like? Is it anything you would like to put out there? Like, if, if you've got anything in the pipeline, or um, I got a tune called GoPro coming out um, mid August. Uh, video UK tour starting October. Loads of festivals. Yeah, man, there's loads. There's there's some wicked collabs I've done. So okay. let's just hope I can get them out. Top get the man. green light on them, innit? I just want to say, mate, thank you very much for coming down. Yeah. We've had a laugh. Like, Big um, up, boys. See, and uh, hopefully up. in like a year or two, we get you back on. And More success. Sense. And yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, Stay out. central. Stay yeah, central. central man. Nice one, bro. Yeah. Oli, oli, oli. The Central Club.